Prop 64 w was, was a lot of lies. That's what the farmers have. They have the culture. They are the keepers of the culture right now. There's a lot of lies, and it's only now that we're seeing how much lies it is. What's happening with corporate takeover, and I felt like my intellectual property was being taken from me and not valued in a way that should have been, and I felt really manipulated. Almost everybody that I know in the industry has been negatively affected. I am concerned that the focus will not be on the medicinal side of it, research and development. That's, that goes back to why it's so important for me that the culture side of cannabis stay involved in this advocacy. It's critical that they stay involved. Taking people off of opiates, taking people off of being a six to 12 beer a night drinker using cannabis is the best thing we could do for everybody's health. Cannabis is definitely going to be pushed into rigid control. Will that hurt the culture? Absolutely. It's like knowing about Blue Dream and thinking you know everything about cannabis. Our government and our people have known all this. Why didn't they give it to us? There's gonna be a reckoning because they're gonna to have to stand up and tell us why they didn't because they didn't want us to thrive. I have a job to protect it from companies like Monsanto and Bayer and other massive corporations that have fused together to try to suck up every large resource that's available. I am truly concerned you're gonna end up with a handful of companies. I mean, how many places do you go to buy coffee? They're trying to get genetic patents on everything they can. And this is something that shouldn't be patented. It's something that came from nature. And people have no right to try to say they own this. I'd like to see these massive corporations somehow really barred.